Hi, so my name's Sally Thompson and I'm the Director of Maths. So I'm here to just tell you briefly um, about GCSE Maths in Year 10. Okay, so it's a compulsory subject. So that means that you have to do it. So it's not an option subject, but we thought it was nice, would be nice for you to have some background information to what to expect once you go into Year 10 with your Maths subjects. So it's going to build on Key Stage 3. Um, maths is very much about having building blocks in place and then putting extra work onto those and to build up your knowledge um, in order to prepare you for the next step. So first of all, the, the kind of maths that you're going to do is, is going to be to do with everyday life. So we will look at content such as percentages, VAT, wage slips, area, perimeter, shapes, things that you may well have to use at some point in your adult life. We then, we then look at aspects of maths which are to do with specialised careers. Now, one of the things that students find quite amazing is how much maths is used if you decide to go into the police force for instance um, they use trigonometry a lot in the police force you your, conver your conversions of measurements are used in many different areas analysis of data is used in specialized careers so a lot of the maths you use individually may not be important but for some of you, because of where you may end up working, could end up being actually quite relevant. And then, obviously, it's if you carry on to study maths further than GCSE. So we put in some more building blocks for those higher level um, qualifications or higher level concepts to, to enable you to carry on building up your math knowledge. OK, and then just briefly what your exams are like. It is a purely examination course, so there's no coursework. So we just do three exams. We have paper one, which is a non-calculator paper. That is primarily testing your mental calculation, even though we do moan at you about putting down your working out. I know, but it's about whether you can um, calculate the, the maths without the aid of a calculator. So the numbers tend to be nicer, the questions aren't any easier. Paper two is a calculator paper, so then the numbers look a bit scary. You get decimals rather than whole numbers as answers and within the questions. And so that's just your normal calculator paper. Paper three is, is a, a fairly new addition to the specification and this is a paper that tests your application of knowledge so the questions tend to be a little bit wordier but you have your calculator to rely on to do the to do the calculations so you can use your your time and your mental ability to work out what to do and then the calculator will do it for you all exams are one and a half hours um, and I think that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me um, and I'll see you in your maths classrooms.